Jonah, what do we got today? A remote control car. All right, Jonah said we're opening up a remote control car today. So today we're gonna open up Dom's ice charger from uh, Fast and Furious 8. I haven't seen the movie yet. It's not. It hasn't been released yet. It's still got a month to go. It's released in April seven. Was April what? Seventeenth? Yeah. Something like that. All right. So this is another Jada Toys uh, remote control car. It's ready to run and it includes all the batteries that you need to get it up and running. So uh, this is I'm not too sure on the skills on this. It looks like one twelve. A little small for one tenth. Um, here are the remote controls that they are gonna have out. We've seen this already for a while. Dom's ice charger, which is this one. The Lycan Hypersport. This is out in stores already, and we haven't seen Letty's Chevy Corvette yet from Furious Eight. These are about twenty-two bucks at Target, twenty-two ninety-nine to be exact. And we did find this one at Target too. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. All righty. Here's the remote control car. Pretty hard plastic body, which is nice. I don't even need the screwdriver because it's uh, twist, uh, twisty, twisty things, which are held by tape. Let me take these tapes off. I like this detail on it. You do? Yeah. The back looks pretty good. Uh, all right, let's check this out. This tape is all stuck up in here. So I did need a screwdriver still to take the tape off. All right, twisties, twisties, and should get out, right? All right, so, and pull this tab I, out. I know the turbo the remote boosters. control. Where's the turbo boost? It's, it's right here. That's the turbo boost. And they cooked it up with uh, pretty good alkaline batteries already, so. <laughs> We got some strong, strong batteries. It yes. runs on four. We don't even have to use ours. We don't have to use ours for a while until you blow these batteries. And hope. Oh. All right, let's check out the remote control car first. So here, Jonah pointed out this is the turbo boost. It's a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio, so it doesn't even need an antenna anymore. You could run a couple. Um, couple uh, cars together at the same time because of the channels on the 2.4 gigahertz um, it's got the battery in already so all you have to do is pair put the batteries inside the car and you don't even need a, a screwdriver for this, if, this, the, this which I'm gonna use though to push the red button to open up the battery compartment alrighty so this is gonna be the best car ever. You think this is gonna be the best car ever? Yeah, because none of them have the turbo boost. Oh no, yeah, your other ones don't have the turbo boost, huh? Your I other fast and furious. This one has the turbo boost. Yeah. And check this out. This is a pretty pretty hard shell. So uh I'm pretty sure this thing will take a good a bruising before it cracks and stuff. So uh it's got your uh your alignment here. Is it? See if it's that's straight right now. It wasn't straight. Well, hopefully that's the alignment. So let's take a closer look at this remote control car. It's which shiny. Yeah, the details on this are nice, huh? That. Is that made out of Jada? This is it made out of Jada? Yeah. It's made by Jada. Yeah. It's plastic. It's made out of plastic. I like the details on it. Yeah, the wheels look really cool. Look at the real one in the movie. Wow, well, we haven't seen the movie, but yeah, remember we did see the the real one at yeah, we know we saw the, the Mattel Toy Store the and the commercial in the movie. It's got the flimsy wing. No, it's actually not flimsy, so pretty Wait, cool. Let's let's off? let's see this. 
All right, is it? Let's turn this on. All right, let's let's bust the tur. Let's see what the turbo boost is. So you can see there's a second gear when you put. Yep. It sounds like a real turbo boost. It sounds like a real like car. It sounds like a real, like that. It sounds like a real car. All right, you ready to play with this on the street? Yeah. All right, let's take it outside. Alright, do the turbo boost. Let's check out this turbo boost. So we uh, played with this uh, remote control car for a bit. It's not your fastest remote control car out there, but that's not what you're paying for. You're paying for the actual uh, car from the movie. And the turbo boost it just it kicks up the speed a little bit. Nothing uh, crazy. Not like a real NOS boost, um, but it does. Does kick in a second, a second gear. Um, so yeah, all it's running on is uh, four double A's. So can't get too much kick out of that. What's that? Uh, six volts. Um, so we're not getting some crazy, crazy uh, power out of this thing. But it does look cool. Um, well, uh, it seems durable. So not a bad buy for 22 bucks. Um, if I had 9 volt batteries, I'd run this one, but uh, I don't have any 9 volts for the for the remote. Um, but I think this this Dodge Charger was a little faster, from what I remember. Uh, it's been a while since I I ran this thing, um, but and the Challenger wasn't as fast as the Dodge Charger. It was pretty fast. Um, I think this Ice Charger is a little slower than both of them. Uh, but we'll see uh, with that Lycan Hypersport and uh, maybe we'll get the Leddy's uh, Chevy Corvette. 
So that's that for uh, the ice charger remote control car. Sweet details, as you can see. Looks really nice. Um, I think it's a even. It's a little more durable plastic than this. Almost the same plastic. It's just that there's more more details that go into this one. Um, pretty cool remote control car. So check out your targets. I've I haven't seen them at Toys R Us or Walmart yet. Um, but yeah, these were uh, twenty two dollars. So go check it out over there if uh, you're gonna if you're thinking of buying one of these and uh, check it out for yourself. See, check out those details on the wheels. Not bad. This is a little kids play uh, play toy, so not you can't do any interchangeable parts on there. So that's the unboxing and review of the Dodge Ice Charger remote control car by Jada Toys. Thanks for watching. Bye.